Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of the Undefeated Podcast. The only podcast with two undefeated fighters. Chat it up. Listen, guys, before we go any, any further, buy a ticket to my show. That's what I'm saying right now. Get That's your tickets to my show. That's the energy. Come down. It's going to be crazy. I guarantee you're going to enjoy yourself. Do you know what I mean? KG's been talking it up, and I'm like, I'm sitting there like, wait a minute. I'm sitting there deep in show camp, you know? It's, it's mad. Training camp. I ain't show camp. camp. <laughs> I have never heard that word. Hey, that one there. I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm writing. My mind is working at a pace that I'm like, oh, this is this is different. I can't wait to touch that stage, bro. Brother, I I'm telling you right wait. now, the tickets are in the bio, fam. Not in the bio. Tickets are in the description of this video, right underneath, right there. Right there. It's there, cause <laughs> just Straight. again, hit the link. You know what to do. Let's go, fam. But real talk, Straight. bro. Um. And people like, subscribe, turn on the notification tab. You need to know when this show happens, fam. Big Do you time, know what I mean? But um, I don't. I want to talk. I want to talk yes. some boxing, fam. I want to get into it, fam. And I know Same. you weren't ready for this one, but we got the mother of all fights, fam. Tommy Fury, fam. Tommy Fury versus and one Jake. of the, and Jake. Right. <laughs> I'm taking a fist. Real, real talk. This could be the one, real. though. Who wins? This could be the one, though. I hate the fact that Jake I'm disrespecting is, Tommy. I'm disrespecting Jake is, Tommy. No, Fury Jake is getting knocked out. Jake has to ah. lose. Jake finally has to lose, bro. No, but you know what it is here? Yeah? I hate the fact that I'm uh, I'm disrespecting Fury's um, boxing history. Yeah. By and he's a Fury fan. He comes from a lineal. He comes from lineal blood, fam. No, he doesn't. But <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> he doesn't. His brother is not his bloodline. Hmm? Oh, is his that, that is not his bloodline? I don't understand. So basically, Tyson Fury's kids will say that they come from the lineal bloodline. Tommy Fury comes from John Fury. Uh oh, I but no, we got <laughs> no. You, you try, you're, it's too late. It's too late for them kind of things. There, I was sitting there like, what is Travis saying right now? Nobody, bro, their family, fam. No, nah, but I know what you mean, though. I know what you mean. The boxing blood in it, it's, it's there. So for me, I look at it and I'm like, especially how Jake Paul looked against um the other brother. Jake Paul looked like garbage. Yeah, so for me so now, he got like, saved. This is the fight. I want to, finally, it's going to, because even I almost heard that Tyson was going to fight Logan Paul as well over the weekend. Mike it's, Tyson and Logan Mike Paul. Mike Tyson. I, around, I, bro. I heard that. No, that can't be real. That's I not think, down either. I think, huh? That's not been shut down. No one's like come out and to shut it down, bro. That could really legit happen. No, but I think maybe you know because boxing's moving on. We got Caleb Plant. We got Fury. We we have, we probably potentially have Fury Dylan. We got real fights in it. Like that can that can, stuff can just go away. I'm cool for Mike, it to go away. Mike so Tyson. Mike, go and do the business. Sign the thing. I just I just wanted to mash him up quickly. What do you think is gonna happen in that fight, though? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen in that fight? You think Jake Paul's got a chance? And he just fought Mayweather and Mayweather Logan, held him up? Logan. Logan, any of the pools. You think they no, got no. a chance? No. Bro, Mayweather held him up. I know. Tyson is going to blow him away. But you know what's going to happen, though? Go on. It's not going to be a real fight. Tyson's going to do that same thing he did with Roy Jones where they just look after each other. No, but if I see Jake, if I see Logan... If Logan hits fall. Tyson, though, it's getting cracking. Like, I'm talking with a significant shot. You won't. He won't. He won't. It's... He's going to be so scared in that fight, though. He won't be. Because he knows that it's literally, it's going to, as you said, it's going to be annoying because he's going to say, what a stat, though. I've shared the ring with Mayweather, Mayweather and Tyson. And Tyson. I'm just a regular I'm a YouTuber. regular YouTuber. It's cool, but again, I'm kinda I'm done. So I'm ready for these men to lose. Like I'm ready for Tommy Fury. I'm gonna get behind Tommy Fury. Go get that W. That's actually an interesting fight. Like it's a fight that it's an I feel fight stupid because... to pay for it, yeah. But I oh, no. I'm gonna pay for that one. Oh congratulations, I will. man. You, you wouldn't pay, pay for, for it. You pay for Mabel and Logan Paul as well, innit? I did. Rubbish. I mean, what was even that? So your resume is spectacular. Nah, I paid for a lot of fights. I've paid for a you lot. You also of paid. Years. You also paid for Wilder. You bet on Wilder to win by KO. Yeah, everyone paid for Wilder. 
Everyone paid for that. No, you I don't bet. regret it. You bet on Wado. And I won money. I saw the money in my account. I was very proud of myself. I bet. I bet. <laughs> I, I bet for. I bet for both fighters to be knocked down twice. Fifty to one. Oh bloody hell! You did, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was very proud of myself. I saw the money in my account the other day, and I was like, <laughs> balling. <laughs> and yeah, no, but um, I think. Again, just to give that a few seconds, because I want to move on to the meaty stuff. I have to say that I'm ready to see these brothers. I'm ready for it to be over, Jam. Um, are you ready for and, them to get stopped? Yeah, I'm ready for them to get stopped. I think it was coming in the last one for um, Jake. They kind of helped him through, you know, like, yeah, I don't know yeah. what was going on in that one against the UFC guy. Tyron and Woodley. Apparently it's coming out that these men are told that they can't knock them out. <coughs> Sorry. Wow. The, apparently under instructions to not knock these guys out. Which would make sense why um what's that guy's now I think it was Woodley. Tyron Jake, No but Tyron Woodley, yeah, he caught Woodley, he caught Jake Paul with a shot, boom, had man against the ropes and just relaxed. I was like, sorry, what is this? No, I don't I, I can't believe that that's what happened, Ra. You're right, bro. The silence is getting sorry, crazy. Bro. It's getting yeah, so it's crazy like, that your focus is like acting like your nose. Your focus like your, your, focus <laughs> is like your nose sounds like, oh <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um no, but again, yeah, I'm ready for it to be over for those guys. But let's move into the real stuff. Let's move into the meat and potatoes. Dylan uh, White um, is injured, apparently. <laughs> I have to say, apparently, Travis, um, it feels like this feels like a respectable thing for me to say as well, because I love Dylan, but I never liked the Awalin fight. Not at all. And what will be wrong of us, yeah, as a speculation kings, to just see that because we were on it as soon as when the fight gets cancelled, just like that. Yeah, we you know we're like it's techie. It's techie. Oh, of course, of course. So for me, yeah, gone. Like my speculation as far as this fight, I'm like, yeah, that shoulder's not injured. That talk about Fury being the next fight or you know him being the mand- mandated fight. He said, no, oh, to hell, to hell with this. Why am I fighting well in them? Finally. And a little, Straight. a little part of me is happy because he's finally putting himself first. Thank you. That's he's why finally I'm... put himself. He's finally put himself first. Like Dylan, we've needed him to do this again. The bravery in me, the 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 old school fan in me. Let's say me when we first started, when we was on episode um, ten. Fifteen of them together. Ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have been like, this is disgusting. Just bang him up, red, ten, 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 ten. But I get boxing. It's a shorter it's shelf. You have a, your your shelf life and your position to be in a space like this. You ruined it with Povetkin. Bam. You Thank ruined you. it with Povetkin. No one told you to go and fight him in that garden. You fought him and you just, you messed up your standing. You messed up, like, even the way people started talking about you. People respecting Dylan and now they're looking at Dylan like, are you really? And I think there was an argument when we was almost saying, with Dylan not losing ever since the AJ fight, there was an argument yeah. of saying he could be in the top three. There was just yeah. an argument of that before because it's like he keeps winning his fights. He's taking the difficult fights. He's it's real. It's real. And then after the Povetkin thing, it just brought him, it came crashing down. The numbers also, came crashing down. And it's like, it's opened up for conversations like, could Dillian be Joe Joyce? Could Dillian do this and that? Yeah. Like, let's be real. Do we entertain those conversations if Povetkin doesn't happen? Definitely no. not. De- so, not at all. You know what I'm saying? We'll never put it's them like, in the same again. Those it'll be laughable to almost say Dylan with triple D. Do you know what I mean? Triple yeah, triple D. We never would I've have seen, said that. I've seen some flagrant I've seen some takes where men have said, like, raw, hold on. How do we know for sure that he's better than Derek Chisora or he's above that level? That's disgusting. Well, well, you listen to the argument, you say, okay, cool, but you had some tough fights with Derek Chisora. He knocked so, him out, though. He, he again, he's a no, clear. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that I agree with that take. I'm yeah. just saying I see where you can argue that take. But aside from all that, Povetkin fight opens the door for that conversation. Yes, it does. He can't afford to have a Wallin. Wallin two. Dillian White saying, "Yeah, no, trust me, I'll figure it out. I know exactly what I need to do." We, ain't, we're not gonna give. It's not gonna happen nicely like that. And, it, and if he loses this time round, he would never get Fury. Never. And I'm going to read these quotes and just we'll get into this as well. These are the quotes live from um, 
from Dylan. From he his, was on, from yeah, from his interview on Talk Sport um, on the fight on Fight Night. Um, there okay. you go. I saw one in complain. Oh, right, this guy. Hey, there you go. Because he's not taking any prisoners. I saw Wallen cons- complaining. He spent 20,000 tr- um, trying to spend six times on that camp. Try spending six times on that, on that camp. People are saying I pulled out because of whatever reason. If that was the case, why would I have forced um, sparring partners here? I wanted um, I wanted to fight. So he's saying it's lies. I was always going to fight Otto Wallen. Because people are looking at him crazy. Yeah. But again, us speculating, we feel differently. Um Bro. Do what you got to do for the PR, bro. Do what you got to do. Hey, go. Yeah, of course, Fury got the world title. This is about Fury. Yeah, of course, okay. Fury's got the world title. And that's what I've been waiting for. Um, Fight Otto Wallen or Tyson Fury. What are you going to do? Which is basically saying what that we're answer. saying now. That's the that answer. answer. tells us what's going to happen. There you go. I'm because not... if the fight is already set and you got it and you want it, there is no ultimatum. Because Fury shouldn't be in your mind. But so... he's saying it was this. No, what he's saying he's saying right now because the 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 goalposts have moved now. Now, when I don't think in his head, I think he thought that a little part of him must have thought that Wilder was gonna win. I think he was going into that fight thinking Wilder's gonna win. They're gonna have to fight again or something. In his, I don't know what was going on in his head because he picked Otto Wallin. But now the titles are all moved. It's weird. This is the weirdest. I, oh, shit. He picked this fight before AJ lost to Usyk as well, wouldn't it? That's what I'm saying. He didn't expect to be in the mix this soon. That's why. Because he thought AJ's going to mash work. Fury's going to handle business. Them he couldn't have thought Fury fight. was going to handle Fury business because he wouldn't have taken Otto. No, no, no. He must he have thought Wilder was going to win that. No, he probably was thinking that it's strategic to fight someone that Fury has fought to get more attention so I can get a guaranteed ting at the shot. But he didn't think he'd expect to get, be in the mix. So he thought, let me take a tough fight, go for it, see what happens. But now that Fury's handled that, AJ lost, so AJ's tied up now. That means Fury's available. Ah, uh, yes. It was the AJ, it was the AJ loss that ruined, that changed his That's direction, right. finally. Right. Cause I was like, bro, this doesn't make any sense. I'm, I was bare right. baffled. I was like, but AJ, Play AJ to, and Fury yeah. were locked. That was going to happen for sure. AJ what? fell. So now he's like, there's a space. Wallen, and, move. And yeah, <laughs> and Fury is locked. Because that was the next fight. Fury was supposed to fight AJ had AJ matched his work. Here you go. Let me right. go back to it. Um, there you go. It says, there you go. Dylan White, this is on fighting Fury next. Yeah, of course. Fury's got the world titles, and that's what I've been waiting for. And I'm dropping a bomb because that man's been waiting. He has, man. There you go. Um, fight Otto Wallin or Tyson Fury. What are you going to do? I'm not scared of no one. I wanted to fight Otto Wallin. He goes and say, I think they're going to mandate me versus Tyson Fury. I want it to be in the UK. This is what I want to talk about. That's a UK fight. I love to go to Vegas. But that's a British fight. The biggest of all British heavyweight fights since Lennox Lewis versus Frank Bruno. Here, 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 here. And then he goes like this. This is the next take as well. We'll talk about this. Tyson Fury doesn't seem to be getting any better technically. He seems to be um trying to be more of a puncher and walk guys down. I think that's because he's naturally slowing down. He's taking a lot of punishment than he's used to. Boom. These are all the takes. Yeah. Let me tell you something. That take, that last one... <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to have to get my dad to verify this. I said that to my dad this week when we were talking. Like, I was saying, Tyson Fury hasn't lived the life. The boxing life. Yeah. You know what I mean? In the gym. He's not going to last long at this at, with the way he's lived his life. Yeah. So for me, the first thing to go is legs. So whilst we are applauding the fact that he comes in at 270 and he does all this damage and we say, okay, cool. Sometimes you've got to say, is that his only choice? Are the legs gone? Because we're not seeing legs anymore. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's coming forward. He's tucking up, coming in, walking you down. That's cool because it works with, with some guys. But what happens when you need to use your legs? Do Don't... you still have the ability to tap into that? I want to say me, yes. I, I want to say I'm... yes. This is So my retort to that is... Go on. Yes, because... I'm the only reason why I'm not bouncing on my legs and moving the way I was. You mean, the 
the only reason why I'm moving the way I, I wasn't moving before is because I've shared the ring with this man. I've done uh, so many rounds with this man. I'm not afraid of him. I can go no, in there. So I don't think it's, he can't do it anymore. I think I've out, chose bro. not to do it because I'm, I don't believe in this man. I'm going to walk him down the same way Shakur Stevenson was well, like, check this out. go ahead. Just pr- throw a spanner. That last fight with him was how long ago? Nearly two years ago. So from two years ago to now, he's been in the gym, walking down, being big, walking man down. You think you just switch back on your legs? I'm sorry. Telling you, bro. I think there is something, there's a lot of weight in that statement about his legs not being the same. I don't think he could just tap back into the old herky-jerky fury that we used to see. I think that's gone. I think he literally is a come-forward guy now. That's a mad take. I think he's it's... a come forward guy now. I don't, I'm not saying that. No, he's I'm not saying it's baby. a mad take. I'm saying it's it, cha- it makes, it makes but it makes things very interesting. So when I'm talking about what him and AJ might look like, and man are saying it's a foregone conclusion, I'm like, how? Because I'm telling you, bro, a come forward fury in a come forward AJ. I think we got we no no disrespect. No disrespect to AJ. And but I'm we not, have to park I'm, I'm not. I'm not. We have to I speak about. When we I have speak to park about him. AJ Fury fight, yeah. I don't. I'm not saying AJ's going to beat him for that reason. I'm saying it's a different fight. Don't expect what. But that's what Arden I'm saying. Will. AJ, I would say, I'm not even going to bring AJ into this because I feel like this is what happens to Dylan every single time, right? I feel right, like fine. right now, it's cool. it's let's, um let's it. let's it's the it's Dylan's time. Do you know what I mean? And Dylan's in position because. And now I'm thinking to myself, when Fury does come forward, yeah? Yeah. Dylan brings a different type of problem than what Wilder would bring. Dylan is going to go to the... Dylan will go to the body. That's one thing he will do. I want to say Dylan has knockout power. Yeah. The only thing is, my Fury gets up a lot. But has I uh, the question is has has Dylan got enough power to keep Fury down for the, for a ten count? My that's see this is my that's problem. the real question because is, he'll go and down. Also, and also, does he have the ability to finish him once he gets back up? Because I don't think the I don't think I personally don't think you knock out you stop Fury. Sorry, you don't beat Fury by knocking him out for ten seconds. It's not going to happen. You have to. I, no, you stop him on his feet when the referee has to intervene. That's how you beat Fury. I'm telling you, that's going to be the way it happens if he gets stopped. Fury. He's going to keep getting up. And Fury. referees, and the referees are going to give him a good count. Let's Fury's be, not getting let's... stopped on his feet like that, though. How? That, he has no, to no, be no. Not... no, what I mean is, when a man's not going down and he's taking shot after shot after shot, you know that one shot where they go bang and it's like, oh, that's when the referees, are, <laughs> they always jump up and get excited. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say. What the hell? There we go. Wait, wait. Yeah, there you lean go. forward. There you go. That's now, where referees. That's where referees jump in because they have to nowadays. And I think that's the only way you're gonna beat. Because no, bro, because I'm. If I'm a referee, now, if I'm a referee, remember this is the lineal champion. This is the W the guy holding the WBC belt, and this is the same guy that I've seen do the Undertaker. No but, ref in his right mind is gonna stop that fight. No so ref in his in with common sense is gonna say, well, because now I've, I've built up a reputation of. Doesn't really get knocked out. He doesn't really but, get knocked out. So I'm not but, counting him out. I'm saying, yeah, he can carry on fighting. But what about if he looks like it? You remember when Klitschko took that massive uppercut from AJ? Yeah. And his head nearly, yeah, you know I mean. But if as Klitschko has. No, Klitsch- if, he starts, if, AJ, if Fury starts eating like two of those, three, four, five, bouncing around the ring, another, the referee has to stop it, bro. But you're talking about now Wilder, not Wilder, sorry. You're AJ, talking about White. Yeah. You're talking about White getting off those free hit combinations. That's not really what White yeah. is going to give us. White is going to give us to the body, um, to the body overhand. Do you know what I mean? We know that. That's what he's. That is, the, is his repertoire. Yeah, he might flash the jab a few times, and it's gonna it's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be a boxing clinic from um, White. But the one thing is that that that's why I can't see him getting stopped on his feet where it's like, oh my God, you're getting so much. It's going to be, um, if we look at all the knockouts that Dylan has had, we've got the the one from that crazy New Zealand guy where it looked like he punched the soul out of him. 
Yeah, it's always a it's always a devastation. It's it's always devastating. Lucas. But Lucas. also, like, uh, we've got to ask a question though. How good is Lucas Brown? Because I've seen Lucas Brown in some some silly things. Ah, uh, he got beaten by a he got beaten by a. Oh my god! Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. So, get out of to... here, man. Shit, I'm saying. No, I'm. Even have to wipe that one off the record still because. <laughs> I don't know how good that was. No, 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 no. <laughs> you wiping it off the record, bro. No, no, because uh, that knockout, that knockout was rude. and the Chisora one, the Chisora one was. Yeah, that was not. He can hold that one. Absolutely that insane. And one yeah. thing we know is, Fury does go. He will go down. And we, I know this is stupid, and I, I, I shouldn't bring it up. I actually feel like an idiot for bringing it up, but I saw it with my own eyes. We was in the room when he hit that punch machine, fam. <laughs> And I know it's dumb because it doesn't move in that year, but bloody hell, fam! <laughs> <laughs> I come on, bro. You were it's there. Like, it's like thunder. It's like thunder went off in the room. Thunder went off in the room, and it wasn't all. He didn't put his all into it. That was the most not. offensive thing. Yeah, because his friend, the guy who was with him, I think he might be his manager or assistant or something. He goes, "Yo, don't hurt your hand." It's like he almost didn't let him do he it. He told him, not, he almost said, don't do it. He's right. like, look, and that's when, again, because Walling was coming, it was getting closer. So that's when Dillian pulled the punch. So he, even, he threw that shot, but he pulled it. He pulled the, he, you know what I mean? He didn't really give it 100. And we caught, he's the body snatcher, fam. That is in his name. Uh, the killer is, if Fury, if Fury can't bring back the herky jerky style that he does have, he this have fight now Dillian. becomes. A lot more interesting because the one thing you're not going to be able to do is bully him like Wilder. That's the one yeah. thing you're not going to be able to do. Now, this is a name. If he if he takes off, if he deals with Dylan, that's a great name for Fury as well. Like no matter how you try to slice it, dice it, what do you call it? The legacy combo starts to change. Yeah, that legacy combo is um, is there, but again, it it now becomes because I didn't think about this, but this is a dangerous. It's a dangerous fight. Now, will Fury have the ability to get into Dylan's head? I don't Fury's think so. Not, but you got to remember, do you remember that video, yeah? That Go Dillian on. White did on his Instagram. And he was just, he was covered in sweat. I think he had like a, like a bin liner. You know that under bin liner? They yeah. used to kind of drop more weight. And he was like, rah, if I touch them, they'll lie down. Lie like, like he was yeah. mad. Yeah. I think that's a that's one of the scariest videos I've seen. If that was an opponent of mine, I'm not gonna lie, that'll get into my head. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, okay, cool. Wilder doesn't have that same mental strength where he intimidates you like that. Yes. He intimidates you because you look at his highlights and you think, where's he got this power from? Because if you listen to him talk, no, but if you listen to him talk, it doesn't scare you though. You probably just think, oh, this guy. This guy's not serious. He's no, serious. it doesn't. It, it's lost his power because we watched the bomb be um like it, oh, it what, didn't detonate. Are, you lost. It didn't detonate before. It's like um remember before as we said the same thing with what happened with White where everyone thought it was a man until he lost yeah, to Vivek yeah, yeah. and then after it doesn't work anymore. Bomb oh, Squad, yeah, yeah, yeah. saying Bomb Squad because in the second fight he was like Bomb Squad, bro. The it didn't detonate. Yeah, and then after this time he stopped saying it, but you you're almost it loses the value in his how he speaks doesn't work anymore. Before it before it was hitting that shit when he when he got that off like we was there we was there when he said bomb squad the whole stadium was erupting saying it with him, bro. bro when he went, oh, yeah, oh, and I believed in it, bro. When he's like, it it worked, and again what losing. Takes that away from you. As soon as you lose, it's like, oh, no, nah, you're human. Do you know what I mean? And the one thing now is, it is, it's so insane. Because, I, but the one, I do know that White has power. I That's the one thing I'm sure of. Even though Lucas Brown has lost to different guys, that yeah. flash knockout and Fury told us, he said, the recipe to beating me is knock me smart out. And we know he's the one thing he is susceptible to going down. I always thought that Fury is going to be able to get straight back on his toes, and this is this one will be different. He won't come in as heavy. He'll be ready for this one. The um, uh, I think if he if he comes in to go to to try and run him over, 
I think if he tries to run over any of the other top guys, he's going to have a problem. I think the I think he figured out the perfect way to beat Wilder. And I yeah. think he figured that out in round 12 of that first fight. Of the first fight, He realised, if I stick it on you, you can go. Yeah. Now, my thing is, and I don't want to segue here, so I want to make sure that I'm saying to you now, we're going to stay in this conversation here. But when I say that yard success in that 12th round could shape exactly how the second fight could look. I like the and point. People don't, and people I like don't the want take. to hear it. I like the yeah, take. Pe- people don't want to hear it, but if I nearly knock you out, if this round continues, what makes you think I'm going to wait till round 12 next time? I'm going to do that as early as possible because I know that you can go. I like the take. I never considered it the first time. Just because I, I do like winding you up. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I do like... It is, you're you're, you're right. We, remember how much we laughed at Fury when he said, I'm going to knock him out. You're right. Fam, I, I couldn't wait to laugh at that statement. Every time I heard it, it made me laugh. I almost put money down. That's why it was so crazy and colossal. Yeah, you found it so won. funny. You found it funny. You like, you, you was like, I said, knock power, out which power? You, you, you. <laughs> He's you knocked him. Through. He's knocked him down so many times. That's the only man to. Kn- <laughs> he's, he's knocked him down so many times. Bam. So when I looked at Lyndon, and I'm saying, you didn't get touched up in that fight crazy by a yard. But the minute you got touched, it was wobbly settings. That's what. That's where it comes from for me. It's not that yard that's was mad. building up on it. You see what I'm saying? If yard was touching him, touching him, touching him, touching him, you say, oh, right, he's finally wearing him down. I say, yeah, okay, cool. Maybe that might not happen again. But, bro, the first time I get a moment of success, we're doing wobbly. Bro, I'm telling you, it's the second fight. Yard gets to him. It can be different. And Lyndon, having now he's got available right hand, that doesn't help you if the jab is the best way to win the fight. Sorry, and I know we're back because we can't just quickly walk away from I don't this. want to segue, yeah. I know, yeah, we, yeah. We, we just have to. We're here, quickly. Um, the segue is important. The reason, because... Just because I like taking the piss, yeah, out of just because I know you support Yard. It's like how you, it's that hey, it's like David Hay all over again for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a real take. The same fact is when you learn something about someone at the end, take it serious because we all saw it. We all saw Fury clock and say, Oh, no, yeah. I'm being you. Do you know what I mean? Now, the In only round thing 12, is after the big ass lockdown that was. I feel, yeah, that Lyndon's camp have such a focus on this fight and they understand what this fight means and they and they know at the end of this is literally, the, it's the lottery. We walk yeah. into the lottery. It's like, I know that, because what's up for grabs right now is not just um like, it's not just like another win. I take clout. Like, it's like almost when the race, you know, like in, I know, Fast and Furious or all these other stupid films, when they race their pink slips. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, right now, if I win this fight, I'm taking your car. All the clout that you've spent all those years, dream it, believe it, become it, like, all that stuff, I now, that's mine. Do you know what I mean? When we say lines in the camp, that's mine. Do you know what I mean? So I beat the guy who's supposed to be the man. And not only that, I might take my ass to match room. Do you know what I'm saying? Just because I might do that. Do you know what I mean? I could be that spiteful. Yeah. So why this fight is probably one of like the, it's, it's so exciting for me is because that's what's on the line. And, um, Yard knows what's on the line because Yard is talking right now and he's talking correctly. He sounds good. He sounds like it's almost a new Yard. We, you know, we got the, it, on. And also one thing I didn't realize and it's mad because like me being a Yard fan, it never really spoken it much, but we're not taking into consideration the gravity of family circumstances around that time. Yeah. Like, multiple losses in the family? Yeah, it's insane. Bro, one loss in the family. I still talk about my granddad's passing away. We're talking about 2016 now. Yeah. Bro, I talk about it like it was like a year ago. Yeah, It still yeah. hits. Yeah, 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 bro, yeah. So you've experienced loss as well. I bro. called you, you know was there when I lost my mum, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, you was... We was just get like, you know what I mean? I phoned <laughs> you straight away, like, raw, like, I don't know what's going on. Do you see what I'm saying? I forget that call. It was both silent on the phone. I didn't know what to say. You didn't know what to say. It was just... It is like... But, the, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, but, bro, it, that's what's mad, actually. That For the so, people that are watching... Sorry, not to... I can't oh, just yeah, leave that yeah, one. For the people that are watching, you have to understand, like, 
there's mad stuff that linked me and Travis. Like it gets deeper than boxing. This from Black Lives Matter <laughs> to from that from that march to you losing your granddad when we had the radio show, yeah. and just him coming home and telling me everything next bit. Then me losing my mum and literally all in a in it's a like mad time yeah. yeah and it just went yeah. we just went like <laughs> <it> just, <laughs> it like that. yeah anyway but go on you said yeah. um that so, d- so, losing so someone the, the background of his life yeah mm. that's a lot to be going to the gym and continuing like normal and you can see yeah. when he talks about it he says i don't open up i don't cry i don't this i don't that there's a lot a lot being held you know what i'm saying it's only as i go from therapy myself <laughs> i'm like i'm like rah that's that's a lot to carry so to go into the fight like that, bro, your head is not in the game. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not excusing. No, but I'm going to use the, so I like, I, I explained, I, I like those takes, right? But I'm going to go to the Linden side. I've okay. always been overlooked. Right. I, and right. I, I know right now, because just imagine the, the part that got everyone angry was some truth, right? You're not as big as me. You're not a name. Do you know what I mean? The things that, upset me like let's let's say Lyndon is the champion yeah and he's as quiet as Josh Boatsy Josh Boatsy's bigger do you know what I mean that's insane you, yeah you have to understand that's mad then you got then Lyndon is the champion yeah however I would say Craig Rich's name now rings off a bit louder than than Lyndon's name is this is, doesn't make sense. Then he got Yard, who lost to Kovalev, lost to me, and they're still counting me out. So I'm sitting here like, no, something needs to be done. I need to, okay. I'm coming into this fight. That's why this fight is explosive. It's electric. I need people to buy it, fam, because this fight is, I'm in. They're, everyone's yes, got they're... some, everyone has got something to lose. And I've been overlooked my whole life. However, I've suffered bereavement. Do you know what I mean? My my bias suffered bereavement, and I know I'm better you, than this. And I got you right in the, and I got you. I almost had you in the twelve. However, I'm saying to you, yo, you man are really like underrating me, and you haven't even seen me with two hands. Oh my god, fam! This one here, it will not disappoint. Oh, it's so, this it's so, one it's here. So, so. But my thing is this, yeah. Go on. So let's talk. You look at Yard's demeanor from the first fight to the second fight, right? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. He's the last demeanor in this fight now. Yeah. Very confident still. Very much like is what it is. The last fight was the last fight. We're here now. He don't even reference the last fight. Everybody re- remember Lyndon is the one that keeps referencing. Mm. You said you was gonna beat me. You said you're gonna beat me. You asked that. Yeah. Cool. We we got a rematch. It's a new. My no, thing is no, but you no, but my thing is this, and it comes from you know obviously. Very little experience I've got in, in my boxing time yeah. that I've had, yeah. But I, the guy I fought in my first fight, we sparred in the same gym. So we sparred each other in preparation for the fight. It was a white collar thing. He knocked me down in a sparring session we had one time, right? After that, we didn't spar again until the fight. Just, I believe that him knocking me down in that sparring session ruined that fight for him. Because he came in, bro, he came in looking for that moment again. I've experienced it. I was ready for that every time that right hand overhand right came. Oh my gosh, I was ready for it. Because that's all I thought about. Every session I had that on my mind. Oh my days. Let that off again. I'm coming, I'm ready. He just it was his undoing. Lyndon references the first fight all the time. Is a part of me that thinks he is coming into this thing a bit complacent. I'm I don't think so. Already. I don't think so. So I, maybe, I, I, maybe I, like right I like the point. I like the point. I like the point. Something in it. I like the point that you're making. The reason why I push back on it is I I think they're playing a game. They're trying to play possum as well. They want they want to be um they want him to box. They're trying to get um remember they said, Oh, you said you're good, you said you're this, yeah, you said you could beat me, red te, 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 te. I think they're because you know when they said it a few times to Tunde, and Tunde's bitten a bit, he goes, but he can't box. And then Tunde's like, y'all can box. Like, we, we can box over this side, right, right, right. Because in their heads, they're like, if this becomes a boxing match, yeah, I've got a, I might have a strong one-up on this because I don't really want a slugfest. 
Do you know what I mean? If I can say, oh, you said you're going to knock me out. You said you're going to do this. You said you're going to do things that I know you can't do. I bet you can't even box. If I now almost say it like as clear as that, it does. It defeats the object. Do you know what I mean? But it's like, mm. all I'm trying to say is, you might say you can do things you can't do. You said that this guy can fight and rare, rare. And again, Tunde still picked up that gem. The one thing I wanted to say about not being different, this is the point I wanted to make about things not really, and we go back to um, why and Fury. We just got here. Um, the only thing that's changed, I think Yard has always been this person, but Tunde has been the mouthpiece. Finally, for the first time, we are seeing Yard. So a lot of us are like, oh my God, this Yard is locked in, red, te, 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 te. the relationship with Tunde has changed somewhat. It has changed, yeah. The, the relationship, the, the dynamic with Tunde has clearly... Um, and I don't know if this just changed by a little. Very it's, pivot. It's a slight pivot. Yeah. Little little things tell you things have changed, like telling them to be quiet. Yeah. That's a massive change. Because you remember when the the um the change or the announcement of James Cook at being, you know, adding to the team, Tunde was very quiet on social media. Yeah. Now we know Tunde to not be quiet ever. Yeah. And there was a time where Tunde was very the volume went down a bit. Yeah. You understand? And that and that was in a time just, when they said that they weren't sure if there was together, splitting, whatever. That's right. There was a picture that we saw posted that got taken down. Speculation. He said, right, said that's very interesting. So how I remember, I believe, we amounted to was the fact that it's like, whilst the dynamics haven't changed in moving around or whatnot, who's the lead voice in the corner, the volume has to come down. Mm. So for me, in that moment in the presser, when he when he started getting into it, he said, "Yo, I'm gonna go back to the rose." He's all right, chill. We've never seen a, that type of behavior. We've never maybe, seen. Maybe we have. Maybe we have. We, we haven't. It, but but this we time haven't. around, yeah, it seems we like haven't. A Even moment. in that moment when they were doing the interview and they said they're together, and then I think Tony was kind of behind him, and he wasn't as just what I'm used to hearing. Dream it, believe it, become it. You know, all like, like how yeah. we just how we hear Tony. So so there's a couple ways to look at it. It's either. Yard just looks at it like, yo, I don't want that energy around me. Do you know what I mean? I want to do it differently. Da, 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 da. Or Tunde has zoned in on what's really important. Like, you know, his energy's changed. Yes. Off the back of things that have happened. Yes. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's a way to look at it. I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking to myself, this is very interesting. It's very it interesting gets, how this is going to play out. It, it, it's, it's mad. Like, again, sorry, we, we got there because of that 12th round, but. Just to just to quickly go back to my brothers, um, my guy Dylan, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I want Dylan to do it, and not not for, not because not for like stupid stuff. Because some people might watch this and say, "Oh man, there you go, just wanting the black fighter to win and all that stupid stuff." You no, know I'm not even feeding into. I know, I know you don't feel into. Yeah, I know yeah, you I don't feel it. No, but I'm just saying that how. Yeah, this has been a. A, a super long journey and I felt that Dylan could have beaten um, Wilder. I always felt that. Yeah, you have and said that. I said that from, for ages and I, even the bullying thing, I took, Dylan is the original bully in the ring, original bully tactics. I'm talking, you, you've seen him even lean on you with his whole body. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> when the chin's just hanging down. Do you know what I mean? He's done that. We've, we've all the nasty stuff that he knows those tricks. And those two fights with Chisora, that got wars, TV done. wars. Um, it, it's again, it it's just, and the walk down. It, right now, I feel that, and I'll say it here, I feel he has the power to hit Fury to keep him down for at least fifteen seconds. Interesting take, boy. To not make the count. To not make. I feel he has. What he has in his that when he when he lets it go, it it does something. We have seen AJ rock by. I know we can't use AJ because, but it's flash. It's a he's got power. Yeah. I mean the the knockout of Chisora and Lucas Brown. If we're gonna add it, yeah, those were some stunning KOs. Stunning. Now, for me, I look at it now and I say, I think not necessarily that he's got enough to keep him down but he has enough to war with him for every part of the fight in the same way that Fury would war. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the part where I think is the most important because Fury can grind you down. But I know Dillian will be there. Whether it's by scrape, he'll be there in the 12th. I don't think that he could knock him out. I don't... Does Fury is Fury got the ability to get under Dylan's skin in terms of the war of words though? Not in the same. No, I don't think not in the same way. You see, you see. Here's how you break down AJ. Like the mental way to get to AJ's head is that you, you, you challenge his character. He's a very prideful man in his personality. Yes, he is. I want my respect. He feels he should have had his respect. Yeah. So when you start to undermine him pisses him off yeah like i would do if you were the king of a castle and someone came in there chatting crap mm. you'd be like who who does my man think he is that's where aj starts has come from yeah 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 dillian doesn't have that thing that shelter man manif- like no one can stick something on dillian dillian is very much like you're talking rubbish <laughs> you know what i mean dillian is that guy so you can't get under his thing. He, he, I mean, when he when Dillian got under AJ thing the very first time, yo, you remember you wore my trousers? I lent you my trousers. AJ was like, in his head, there's a lot of things going on. I'm number one. I'm the one that the Olympics. I'm the one that's got that. Got a, that I'm, I'm 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 set to go to the top. Yeah. You can't embarrass. You're embarrassed. You can't talk you about can't me wearing me. the trousers, bro. That's a mad thing, fam. How do you embarrass Dillian White? You can't call him a dosser. It's not gonna upset him. He's very comfortable with those those trades. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, so I remember even the d- donkey, donkey. No, that's just what we're saying, donkey as well. What I'm saying, Shit. Dillian in all of these. Settings, even with the he's... throw, even with the table throw, Chisora threw the table at Dillian, and he sat there calm. Dean was more annoyed, and he was telling Dean, "Let's go." His composure is mentally in the in the in the personal thing. It's pretty a one. No, but I feel like Fury brings... Fury's got this um, a knack. Of the only no. time the knack didn't work is with, it was with Wilder when Wilder drowned him out in the in the press conference thing. Because Fury yeah. won, like... That's the first time we saw Wilder kind of, like, different. Do you know what I mean? You know, I'll tell you how you... Like, here's why I think um, why it will unsettle Fury. It's the way he talks about Fury. He talks about him in the way no one else does. My man just pointed out, he's not getting better. That's a crazy thing. In the finest moment, or one of the most dopest moments of my career, man, yeah. it's not getting better. Fury's going to look at that and look at his own performance and think, what are you looking at then? When the... You know what I mean? What yeah, 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 yeah. And Fury doesn't hide it well because all these insults are always the same. People call him a genius for the mind game thing. They give him a bit too much credit on the genius thing. Dossa. Dossa. It's, 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 it's no, 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 no. What he done to he 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 hurt AJ without even fighting AJ by calling him a bodybuilder and made AJ want to turn into a perfect puncher. That he he won that one. The battle of the mind, and even coming with a Nigeria gum shield is it again? Like he he, he the mind games with AJ. It worked. It worked. Yeah, you know I mean, if AJ uh, changes, if think, AJ goes into a fight saying I'm gonna outbox Usyk. Let's give it. It I give I give some credit to that talk and the narrative. Yeah. Remember, it's not Fury that started it. Everybody says that about AJ's. But I've heard Fury Fury speak say it the lo- the loudest. But, also, but it has been a it. thing that, to say about AJ since he started boxing. Yeah, do you see what I'm saying? So it's, it's it's that amalgamation, and I think it's a thing of that coupled with complacency is what it led AJ to. Yeah, the, but even in box. even sometimes he would say it in an almost positive ways like I don't look like AJ like he's look like a bodybuilder like he's a virgin yeah. he remember he said it he's been saying it here just for years even when there was no real beef he'd be like oh, well, even on. when he weighed 400 pounds and he was nowhere near boxing yet yeah 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 he <laughs> just mentioned it do you know what I mean so it's subtle it's like that it's that chip 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 onto it got in you know and then again I think um, a lot of fighters you've seen him He's working on this. Now, I don't think he's actually spoken about Dylan that much. His name's not... Dylan's name has not been in Fury's mouth. No, not heavy. This is interesting. This this fight excites if it, me. If it gets made, because that's a big if. You've got to bear in mind, Tyson Fury ain't sticking around long. But it has, it's the next fight. If, if you're going to step aside and not fight Otto Wallin, that leads me to believe that Jan, Jan February, we get a big title fight. It would be nice. But nobody's vacating the belt from Tyson Fury. Huh? 
nobody's vacating a belt from Tyson Fury if he doesn't defend or do what they say. We're talking about the WB corruption. <laughs> it's mad. It's mad. They it's don't just... want Dillian White to have the belt. But how do you stop him? Because how do you stop him right now? He's he's You don't enforce you don't enforce no, you enforce no okay, you don't enforce a mandatory or you say Dillian's not mandatory. How's that possible? What do you mean how's it possible? So who's the <laughs> mandatory then? Bam. It has to be Dillian. Are you That's... putting it past them to avoid Dillian? What have they been doing all these last three, This this will be this will be this will be another level. This will be another level of crime. If Tyson says I want to sit down and wait for AJ and Usyk winner, they'll let him. They, that's 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 a that's a that's a liberty. It will hurt, but then that will hurt Fury a lot more because that's again you had two years of inactivity. As you've been saying, if he's not in that same, that's not smart. It you might as well lock yourself into a rematch clause with um with White. You might as well. But you know what's gonna happen though. Tyson Fury is going to fight David Hay. And that's just going to piss off Dillian White to the highest heels. Bro, I saw David Hay the other day. We were talking about comedy. Everyone's battering backstage. And I'm waiting for the moment. And I said to him, do you really think you could beat Tyson Fury? And he did exactly this. He went, yeah, I do. And I believed it. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. I, look, I looked at him and I was like, you know what? Bro, if you believe it, I'm Team Haymaker, fam. <laughs> I'm Team Haymaker. And I'm rocking to the world's fall off, bro. I say, listen, when Ain't No Stopping Us Now comes on, forget everything else that I think. <laughs> it's David Hay. Let's go. What's bro. that right hand, lads? Bro. You saw him in there with Fournier, right? Yep. He didn't let that right hand go. I believe this. Oh, you made me sick. He's protecting his bedroom. <laughs> no, you know what? I think well, I'm telling his you, body... Like, go, go on. Jokes aside, jokes aside, regardless of how you think the Hay and Fury fight will go, look for that fight to happen. We're talking about the man that gave us Pianetta. Safari, bro, the guy doesn't want to do back to back tough fights. He could give us David Hay because they don't have David Hay as a tough fight. And oh my god, and it's a great David name. It's a great, if, no, he won't. He won't. He won't. If, it's if a great name you, to have on your thingy. It's a great name to have on your roster. You beat David you Hay. Imagine? It's can not gonna happen. No, wait, Travis. Let's, Travis, let's there's take, no <laughs> universe. Let's take I'm not gonna wait. No, no, Travis. There's when no alternate back. universe. Unification. Travis. Battle of the Cruiserweights. Shut up, man. <laughs> sick. Rubbish. I mean, what was even that? No, honestly, um, I, I rate the dream. Bro. I rate the dream and I get it. I love the fact that he supported the ting and he's at the show. Um, but don't say stuff like that again. We saw him against Fournier. Do you know what I mean? It was, it was the worst thing, like... Look, man. I get they it, under, though. They underestimated him before. He didn't beat Belly, like, clearly. And yeah, we see what he... Bro, what kind of shorts is he going to wear this time against me? <laughs> what kind of... What kind of padding? <laughs> Listen, all I'll say is this, yeah? Yeah. Crazy, crazy things have happened. Oh, my God. That, life can't be that crazy. That's what I'm saying. Um, no, if David Hay... If David Hay... It's not happening, Travis. Theory, stop, stop this. Stop when this. I tell, let, me just, let me just put out some madness. If David Hay... Gets the fight with Fury and beats him. The next two or three pods after that fight, I'm doing the topless and I'm only wearing David Hay shorts. I'm wearing, I'm ordering, <laughs> I'm literally showing up. I'm literally showing up to the pod, yeah, to a pod in the same shorts, not the exact same because that's crazy. But, what, but the, the white with the padding though. I'm ordering shorts, yeah, literally re replicas of David Hay shorts and I'm podding topless in those shorts. I'll even get K Rose. <laughs> and I'm putting in boxing gloves and the same boots. <laughs> Just your hand on the on the on the thing like this. <laughs> no, no, you're not.
Yeah, because if he ever pulled that off, oh my gosh, you'd never oh, you never make me. David so... Hayes, the greatest cruiserweight. Yeah, of yeah, all yeah, time. yeah, yeah. You you'd have to get that off. Um, let's just talk. Um, Sha- um, Shakur. Oh, Again, listen, yeah. You, I, I really enjoyed that performance, and I know a lot of people say this. It's an easy thing to say whenever someone does technical brilliance in a fight, and they do well. Oh, very may with rest. Well, bro, I literally, I literally felt like I was watching a version of Floyd Mayweather all night. Isn't Haney the version of Floyd though? Not to me. Huh? I've never felt like Haney was the Floyd like that. He had a jab to the body, and he's he's got a great IQ, but not like how Shakur Stevenson looked in there. But again, he was in with you. You saw what um I, this fighter's name's gone gone out of my head. Herring. 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 You, we saw what uh, Herring is. Herring is a is a classic. We saw him on the on the Channel Five. He's a throwback. He's a throwback type fighter. You could tell that the class, the golfing class, was clear. You know, yeah. um, that Herring retired. Who did was it? Who did he retire? Was it Frank? Who did he retire? Frampton. Carl Frampton. Frampton. He retired Frampton. And even in that, Frampton, you could tell, Frampton knew after losing to Heron, I shouldn't do this no more. You know no what more. I mean? He was so clear. And it wasn't just because of, it wasn't, I think Frampton said to himself, I can't beat him. You know what I mean? And it's not trying to disrespect Heron, but you saw a massive golfing class when a referee, like, you're not knocked out, by the way. Yeah? You can actually fight on and... We can make, it can be honourable and, you know, it's like, I made it to the end of the fight. I didn't get knocked out. The referee said, no, I, I've had enough. Do you know what I mean? This is not even on wobbled legs. And yes, he, I still believe that Heron had a jab in there or something to give back just to make, just to say, don't call off the fight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which now shows that, it, it, I just feel like that the isn't a so true, different. yeah, it's, the levels are so different. But that's not really. He hasn't been in deep water, is what I'm saying. With, with of course, the I don't think we can the Mayweather rest bit gets in there yet in terms of what. No, he, bear in mind, I'm not saying Mayweather level. Yeah, I'm just saying that the shots, the punch placement. But can't you look like that there. when you? Can't you look like that when you're fighting someone that? There's is, a lot of people that can't look like Mayweather by their self shadow boxing, bro. It's that's not true. it's not as simple as that. Like yeah, that's true. how he looked in there in the pocket. I'm standing right here, but you can't hit me, and I'm gonna keep hitting you. Like that style there. It reminded me of Floyd. Let's be honest though, if you're talking about one of the greatest shadow boxers of our generation, I'd have to say Eubank Jr. No, Eubank Jr. is the best on the punch pad machine. Yeah, but shadow box, he, shadow no, boxing. Not, no, not shadow boxing, bro. Once he's on that punch pad machine. You know the one that's got the top tier, the bottom yeah, yeah, tier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, bro! Once he starts letting rip on that, because remember that that used to be the Eubank Junior rollout. <sighs> We'd all be watching like, oh, if he lets his hands go and someone's on the ropes, it could be over. And it would proceed to watch fight after fight of that not happening. But even still, though, once once Eubank does let the hands go, let's not uh... pretend he's dangerous. Rubbish. I mean, what was even that? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If Eubank Jr. gets in there with an opponent that doesn't move their feet that great and likes to trade, yo. And he's starts. overweight. Because you have to put in bare stuff that he to make him no. win. Doesn't make his point that well. I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. But... <laughs> you put in bare, what you call this, round. This <laughs> big. No, but I know, I know you banks. I know you banks. Arsenal, in it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like if you're a come forward fighter, yeah, and you just come to him and he unloads, you're perfect for you bank. But, but if you not, move, not if he you turns into that, not if he jab, by the time he oh. remember in four or five fights, you bank will be Roy Jones in terms of like a version. I'm saying no in terms of oh, a bad version. Like... So he's not gonna do that anymore. Oh, I see what you mean. Do you know what I mean? He's gonna he's gonna morph into a version of Roy. <laughs> a really the, bad version. Yo, the 55 year old version. <laughs> it's nuts. Oh wait, Unshako though. Unshako. Um I like him. I like him as a talent. 
again, I don't normally to, to not mention his name in that top conversation about yeah. 130, 135. Yeah. I, 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 he's, he's, it's interesting. It's interesting. You know, um, as I still said, there's certain fights that I, I really want to see. I want to see Haney pushed. I want to see him in there with um T. I hate the division now because of what they're doing. It's sad, isn't it? It just makes it rubbish now. I'm like, oh, I don't even care anymore. And there's bro. man them in there. But Javante Davis is fighting. Javante Davis he's is fighting. No, that's good. He's he's at 140 now. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Javante's fighting. But you've got a whole tier of female sitting there. You got Lope, um Garcia sitting there. Like, I'm like, yo, you man. Get something done, bro. Get something done. It's gonna. With it's happening next year. Not, don't, 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 don't just keep fighting other people. You man, get yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, sorry, Caleb Plant's coming as well. We'll talk more about Caleb Plant because next week. Oh, sugar's getting closer to. Yeah, we're getting closer week. to. Oh, sorry, the week after. Set the sixth of November, I believe it is. Bloody yeah. hell! Yeah, mate. Payday. Hey, day. I know that. <laughs> um, what else is there? Is there anything else to say? Oh, uh, yeah. Evan Holyfield. Oh, I know. Wait, yeah, res- put some respect on Nico Ali Walsh, fam. I don't like that you do that, fam. There's Ali, a big I- Ali. There's a big Ali out there, fam. Ali Wumbaye, fam. And I'm you're not, not, you're not like- really like... You're not really... <laughs> Doing... That, look, look, fantasy this year. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to man. Yeah, I wasn't talking about Evan Holyfield before this knockout knockout either. Yeah, that. that impressed me. He looked how he looked in there was more impressive than just getting a KO because you can get a KO under dubious circumstances, fam. Nico Ali Walsh's KO was very dubious for me, for me as well. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't want to speak about him until until you see he more starts to get to a level. Yeah, you see more. Yeah. Right. Was it disrespectful yeah. though? What Vingy Evan did though? The, the, oh, Evan, uh, oh, listen, let's just talk about the, the knockdown first. He was rolling like his dad, fam, in that yeah, dirty, yeah. dirty part, yeah. that dirty range where yeah. he get clipped, yeah, slipping, rolling, bang. It was the nice. Dad left, he bro, that left hook is like his nice. dad. It was nice. It was nice. It was. But what I liked, what I liked more than the knockout was the balance. He landed the shot, slipped out of range. Right hand was there, walking for bro. He was literally on balance the whole time. My man went down, stood over him. Woo! <laughs> I said, "Jeez, that's total domination." I'm, in, I'm impressed by that. That's Nicola total domination. Was... That is Go total on. domination. I again, I love all Holyfield. Um, I will be watching this journey. I'm, I'm looking. I'm interested again. It's, you always worry about the Campbell Hatton package. Do you know what I mean? Oh. The stimulus, when the stimulus is there, do you know what I mean? And I, I get worried about, it's like, uh, are we, is this, is this going to be another one? You know, we've, we've been here before with the children of fighters. We've been here before, you know, but this looks like, this could be the real deal. Is he going to, this, real deal, oh my days. <laughs> this, yeah, it, do you know what I mean? This, this could be the real deal. I hope it is. I will be watching. Do you know what I mean? Same. I Absolutely. will be paying attention. Again, just a, another piece of boxing news as well. Um, Charlo wants Triple G in a unification bout. Um, At the end of the day, Eubank Jr. wants Triple G, so Charlo's going to have to wait in line. No, nah, I'm joking, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's very nuts. What is Triple G doing nowadays, bro? He's literally just chilling. No announcement, nothing. Just taking a year off. Yeah, it's it's a bit mad. It's a bit mad. I, f- I don't know what I'm he's telling you, yeah. for. I'm telling you, bro. Look for Triple G to look very old in his next fight. And his next fight will be the last fight. I think it's like... You see when Pacquiao had that mad time where he was just chilling? Oh, uh, Ugas to... Yeah, to yeah. Come, to you're come back that, for the peas. You say that yeah. it could be one of those ones. It's going to be one of those ones, fam. I, sh- he lost. He lost for December last year, and the year before, the last time he fought before that was the the October two thousand nineteen. This man's not active. Fam. Really gone. He lost for when? So December twenty twenty. Yeah. And before that, it was October two thousand nineteen. Bloody hell. Yeah. You think Father Time can't smack him in the it's mouth right now? N- not the Charlo potentially, but not not the other one. But yeah, um, (laughs) 
ladies and gentlemen, cool. you already know what time it is. We reached the end of the pod. Thank yep. you for listening. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, the comments and stuff. We didn't read the comments today because we thought we you know we'd just get into this. And if you don't know, if you're looking at me and Travis right now, we're working mad hard. Like oh, <laughs> on, we are it. like we're filming. We're podding, so like, yeah. it's nuts. <laughs> it, yeah. Like, we're both going, you, what time do you start in the morning? I've got a 6 a.m. Yeah, same. <laughs> 6 a.m. Same. But you know what's bad, yeah? Just to let you guys in on what's going on, like, yeah. I spoke to KG this week, and I said, Ra, look at the, like, we were trying to figure out a time where we could record last week's episode. And it was just like, Ra, he's filming there, I'm filming there. It was like, Ra, and I had to stop and just go, look at our lives, bro. It is, it is. It's Look cool. At the that we're having now, it's, it's good to a couple of years ago. <laughs> it's a good it, again. It's a good problem. Do you know what I mean? And um, again, I just I do, that's it. I want to encourage the people listening. Like, if you're dreaming about doing your thing, yeah, bloody listen. go and do it, fam. That's the one make thing. Time. Like, make time and do it. Like, I can't believe it. I literally sometimes I'm in things happen, and I'm like, right, how's this happened? And the, the great defeaters, you know it more than anyone. You lot yes. have been, some great defeaters have been here from when there was only 50 people listening. And um, to go from 50 people listening to being at a massive fight, Tottenham, in for at an AJ fight. For Anthony Joshua. Cooling, like, but Working. doing... W- Fam, we started our, our whole... Go back to the first episode if you want bands. Look at the the quality that we're giving today. Yeah. Go back to the first episode and yeah. just take a look at that. And yeah. you see what the journey looks like. And that's just the boxing pod. Yeah. Our careers go back 10 years. Oh, <laughs> yes. But then that's and but I will say just like like try though. That's the key thing. So it's not just to say it for me, it's to say go out and try something. You'll be surprised what you can do. But yeah. Right. Um we'll thank talk. you for watching. Make sure you get tickets to Travis's show. I wanna see you out there. I just want to see it. I want to see it. Love you guys a lot, man. Look after yourself. Take care, guys. Let's Have a great spell. week. Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.